Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be uh, washing the Purple Power Stroke and getting it ready for a SEMA 2021. Alright, so she's not SEMA ready, but she is a beautiful truck, so I'm going to make her shine now. So I just finished washing this truck and I am just beyond tired. Uh, many of you have big trucks, you know how hard it is to wash them. So even thinking about even like waxing it or even like clay barring it, it's like impossible to do. Like there's not enough time and like muscle in the world. But here it is. It's nice and clean. Finally got the chrome wheels back. All right, it is now the second day. And before I start waxing the truck, that's my plan for today, I'm actually gonna do something that I have been meaning to do for a while. And that is uh, build a battery tray. I have these two batteries right here. And they're older and they actually do work. They still hold charge. They're just not as reliable as other batteries. So I'm gonna make a little battery tray. That way I can house two batteries, like with the lower battery in the bottom and have another little tray on top. And it'll be kind of helpful when I'm charging them. Uh, that way I can just charge the top one and then charge the bottom one. Uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing really quickly. And I'm going to be making out of wood. Because they say you have to have uh, your batteries placed on wood. I don't know if that's true or if it helps. But I'm going to be doing that right now. So I'm going to get started on that. So I'm going to start off by measuring it. And I want to have room that I that way I can like kind of grab it and drag it out. And not be like kind of like reaching under. So I think, uh, I think about 11 inches will be enough. Uh, I might go 12 inches. Yeah, I'm going to do 12 inches. That way it's just like a foot off the ground. I'm actually pretty excited because like woodworking is a, my, like, kind of my first love. Uh, I think most people will either get jump straight into like vehicles and cars and all that. Uh, other people just jump straight into woodworking and then like metalworking and like fabricating. But for me, uh, woodworking has always been like my favorite thing uh, like Boney he's more of a metal guy and he just loves uh, anything that's like steel hard uh, and metal uh, but for me it's woodworking
that. It's nice with a little bit of scrap wood and a little bit of time can do, you know. It's not perfect, I, just like everything else in the shop here. I like using scrap wood because, you know, it's just going to be tossed out so why not reuse it. And so that looks great. I think that's perfect and it's sturdy. Alright, I'm about to start waxing it and uh, I haven't waxed it in quite some time. I've been slacking in that department. But this is the wax that I use. It's called the, the Turtle Wax Ice one. And it's just a spray on. It doesn't leave any white residue. I'd recommend it if you're kind of lazy like me. Uh, but there are many other better waxes and I, I know McGuire uh, has now like the ceramic wax and all that. There's like way better waxes and even like ceramic coatings. But so I'd recommend that stuff and not so much this, but I'd still recommend it for like just an easy uh, spray on wax. As far as like the, as far as the paint goes, this is the original purple paint and it still has the original clear coat and everything. So it's like a 20 year old truck and it's been used as a work truck before. So it's not in the best condition. It's really, really bad, uh, but it could be worse. So I'm just gonna spray on this stuff and buff it out. Uh, mainly I'm trying to just get that kind of protectant like shine back. My favorite part of applying wax is like the beading uh, part, like when it beads the water off. So when like it rains and it just dries up kind of quickly. Uh, I do like putting this on the window. Uh, I put them on all the windows and mirrors and everything so whenever it does rain the water just beads off I rarely need to use wipers because it beads everything off so I'm gonna get started on that Look at that. It's not too bad for a 20 year old truck. Not too bad. Man, I swear these trucks make anyone feel small. And it's not even lifted. Yeah, definitely the sun came out and it's not too bright but I really don't want to be waxing uh, while the sun's out. I know you shouldn't do that so I'm not gonna do that. All right so I'll be back later. All right so now I'm gonna rotate the truck because uh, as many of you already know I work out of my garage and it's a two-car garage and having a dually next to me really makes it almost impossible to work in between the two trucks. Uh, so I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. So next on the agenda is uh, shining the tires and this is the one I use 
I really would not recommend this one. It doesn't last at all. And it doesn't really look like it shines. It's more of like a clean, like new tire look. So I wouldn't recommend this one. If you're gonna get one, get the Armor All Extreme. It's like a gel and it works really great. So the way I do it is I just spray the outside of it and kind of work my way in. I use an old sponge as like the applicator. So you can already see it, it's like, it like dries up really quickly and then it looks like that. It looks like a new tire, it's, it's like a matte shine. Uh, it doesn't actually have like a wet tire look. So it does make the shine look good, but it really doesn't make a hot shine as advertised. If you like that video, please comment and subscribe. I will be putting out two videos a week, so I will catch you on the next one.